Um, at the beginning, you were talking, I mean, obviously, that now more than ever, uh, with this entire uh, digitalization era that we're entering, that we are now, um, it's more important to, to write requirements and perhaps even embrace technologies. One of those technologies is definitely AI. I'm sure you're you're probably like uh, seeing it like firsthand. How do you think AI technology will affect uh, this entire requirements engineering uh, approach um, in in general? Total game changer. Um, I would say that you know I would say not uh, I would even more specific than just AI and talk about mm -hmm. uh, large layered neural nets and large language models in particular, right? So. You know, like yeah. most people, I have been obsessed with uh, chat GPT and seeing how far I can push it, <laughs> how you can twist it one way or the other. And uh, and it, it, it's very clear that this ha is going to have a huge impact, right? Yeah. How precisely is it going to affect systems engineering? Let's talk about just that subset for once. I would say it's still unclear, but clearly the implications are, are, uh, are, are there, right? And, you know, the way I see it, taking a step back is, you know, there are, I just let's take it a higher level now, maybe a bit too high, so you can bring me down if you want. Um, what we're seeing now is, you know, if you talk about building a complex system, um, there's generally three phases. There is, um, you know, there is um, design, uh, build, and test, right? And, and you kind of go and you iterate in circles, right? What we're seeing now with these, uh, with AI, I call them automated agents. Uh, language, large language model is one, but there's other types of AI as well. Is that each of these phases, both the design and the build and the test, are being automated, but also transitions between these phases are also automated. And so we're nearing a stage, and we're going to near a stage. I don't know when, but not 50 years away. Right? Also, not two years away. Um, where that whole cycle can progress without human in the loop, that means that that cycle is going to happen 10,000 times faster than we have now. Wow. That means the way we design products is going to be very different, right? It's going to almost, it's almost going to resemble more like a kind of evolution as opposed to the way we do this top down approach now. That means that the role of a human is going to be sit at a higher level and guide these automated agents right? and put guardrails up and say, go in this direction, don't go in that direction. And so LLMs is a perfect example of that. Right? LLMs are um, extremely uh, impressive, but they cannot run wild on their own. They still need the human interaction to say, to guide them into one direction. So the real value of LLM is to is going to be specifically it's going to be how you interact with the LLM, what kinds of questions you ask, what kinds of responses you're going to get back. And there's going to be additional tooling that is the interface between the humans and their actually domain level needs and these LLMs who do what they do good at, who do what they're good at, and how to almost broker between these two is going to be where tooling is going to be needed in the future. Right. And so Wait, in terms of is yeah, that is that more like you know because you were kind of talking about guiding? Um, is that more like more specific um, LLMs or um, or just uh, restricted versions of that? Um, it's going to be. Um, I think it's pretty. The science is pretty clear that large language models work better than small language models. So I think that's going to. Mm -hmm keep on going in that, in that direction, right? Um, what's not clear to me yet is if that is something that's innate into how neural nets are designed and built, or is that right. just something that has, the first thing that works so far are these large language models, right? I somehow think it's a former, but that's still, that's still uh, open. Um, however, what's also clear right now is the LLMs that exist today are really astonishingly good at giving general guidance and general uh, principles, right. and they actually write. They write quite well. It's surprising how well they were better than most humans actually. Uh, the writing ability. Yeah. In fact, that's almost a problem because it seems they're much more sure of themselves than they actually ought to be. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and so, um, and so. But as you get down to the level of details, they need to verify what they're saying. 
then you need to get down to the more specifics and that is still you still need that domain expertise you still need that uh exactly yeah. human domain knowledge to actually probe it and say well this is fishy i'm i'm, I'm not i'm just going to cut this part out right and so yeah. it's um you need still that um you still need that judge uh and the evaluator of the results of these LLMs, right? 